Yes, Daniel. There we go. Very good game. Welcome, welcome everybody. Come on in and enjoy. We have a really cool panel for you here right now, guys. How many of y'all remember Power Rangers Mystic Force? I'm glad you said yes. We got some of the most amazing cast members right here that we're going to see all weekend. And I'm really, really glad you guys can join us today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. And the rest of us. And the rest of us. So Nick and I will talk for a while, and you guys can love, love it. hash it out. Yeah. This love really is a super rare occasion to see all yeah. of you guys here, and all of us here with you guys. <laughs> to have you guys here in the States, man, it's amazing, yeah. yeah. So thank you all for coming. This, this is good. amazing. Yeah. I know this, of course, has a very special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm sure every one of you as well. <laughs> This was cool. Jim, I tell them more about you, though. The, the, just for a moment while they're coming in. You really are attached to Mystic Force because... Uh... I, I really am. Um, so, well, to start off, in it was like, what, 2005. That was the year that I got back into Power Rangers after my, like, you know, I, as a kid, I liked it, and I went on, like, a yeah. fandom hiatus, and then came back and Mystic Force. You're not a so. true fan if you left during the Lightspeed Rescue era, but that's what I'm going <laughs> I caught up! It's one of my favorite seasons. Who doesn't like fighting demons? And then I found, I do it every like, day. <laughs> and then What's I found. What's your drink in there, Ferris? <laughs> <laughs> juice. Go on. I'm sorry, I didn't banana. Right. Oh, you're good. And then I found a ranger that just spoke to my heart the most, which was the Mystic Force Blue Ranger. She has mermaid powers, and actually, my career is I'm a professional mermaid. So it's that's like, a real thing. Look at us. She's <laughs> really a mermaid. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So. Favorite Ranger, favorite, one of my favorite seasons. Well, that's cool. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you guys are still coming in. I would like to introduce to you now, without any further ado, the cast of Power Rangers Mystic Force, the All Ranger Ship. The Red Ranger Nick, Karas Durrani. The Solaris Knight. John Tui! Yeah. And of course, the man that brought us Plan Zanda. This is Grant Tanisato, the great ranger. It's really good to have you guys up here. It's a lot of fun. So it's been like uh, a couple of years since the show ended. Uh, so, well, more than that, but 12 it's, years. it's been 12 years, I didn't want to feel too old, uh, or any of us. Yeah, yes. So 12 years uh, since Mystic Force that brought you all together, and, uh... Well, yeah. 12, 14. It's been a while. Yeah. Either way, it's been, is it been 14 Oh, yeah, it's been 14, 14, sorry, yeah, 2005. Oh, yeah. Wow. I forgot. You filmed it in 2005, and then it was aired in 2006, yeah. But so it's even longer instead of shorter. What happened? Yeah. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was quick. Yeah, it was a, a lot of yeah, time. It was a that's whirlwind. That's like quick time. 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the first time I got to meet two of you guys was at that very first Power Morphicon. Rich, you were there, and, and, yeah. and if you remember, you were there too. Yeah. It was a great time. 2007. We had, 2007. I was at the inaugural Power Rangers convention. And now here we are in Orlando, Florida, beautiful city. And that's been 12 years. And that's been 12 years since that time. <laughs> That That's what I meant. You know, the thing is, Orlando didn't get a lot of applause just now, and I'm frankly not mad about it as a result. Yay, Florida! Yeah, right. Yay! Yeah, Orlando! Yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm really glad you guys are here with us. So, what have you guys been doing since the show, if you don't mind me asking? Sitting around. Yeah, just yeah. stuff. <laughs> Hanging out. Hanging out. Netflix. Hanging out and friends. Playing the water. That's a serious question. You that, that oh, is a serious yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Serious the answer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Rich is going to keep us on track today. I see. I'm not going to that. Well, I was living in New Zealand most of the time. Great place. Check it out. Uh, I've been doing comedy, and uh, I'm also in, uh, in another TV series at the moment uh, called oh. The Broken Wind Mysteries, which is like a murder mystery show. Coming soon to the Acorn channel. Uh, check it out. <laughs> Season six. Yeah, we use. It's an awesome series. Uh, is that yeah, it's it's cool. Awesome. That's pretty neat. Yeah. How about you, man? Um, well I've been uh, I've actually I've been living in I was living in Melbourne for about five years, uh, doing a show called House Husbands. And that finished in 2017. Um, yeah, just been kind of working. Uh, traveling a lot, went to Africa. In I went to Kenya for seven weeks, 
and kind of like just um, volunteered, ran a sports program, you know, so went and went to the Savannah. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Africa. Are you there? Yeah. 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 I just had enough. And after five years of like TV, I was just like, I've had enough of this. Yeah, I was just was five five seasons of a show can it can burn you out. Scary seasons is like. Um. So yeah, I went to Africa. And I had, a, I had a ball there, man. I was, I was taking photos. I went into the savannah. I hung out with leopards and lions and shit. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I was, I was like, I was refreshed after that trip. You know, it was eight weeks there. I went to uh, South Africa. I went to Kenya. I volunteered. It was great. You could, hey, go to Africa. Go to Africa. <laughs> when in doubt, when in doubt, go to Africa. Really That's good advice. Your perspective on things. It really does. You know, I went to one of the biggest slums called Kibera. Um, and I think like three quarters of the Kenyan population are in this slum. And for me to walk in this slum, I was just, I felt ashamed in the sense that uh, some of my insecurities and uh, fears that I kind of battle with and am challenged with, you know, on a, whether it's career or bit, you know, whatever it is, uh, the acting career, it just kind of, it just evaporates because it kind of, you, you, you sit there and you go, wow, this is so exposed and these people are living on bare minimum. It's like, it is really, it does change your perspective. It really does. So I did that and then I did a play which was great, called uh, The Effect. And uh, that was on for six weeks, and it was great, man. I was, uh, I was back to my stage, doing my, my, my acting on stage. And a few films here and there, a couple of spurts of, spurts of not working. <laughs> and um, yeah, but overall, just uh, growing up, did some theater, did a film with Mel, Mel Gibson directed me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so I spent, spent five and a half weeks with him. Um, yeah, but other than that, just, you know, gone through the, the cycles of life, I guess. Relationships and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I still haven't worked it out. All right. Okay. I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> just to bring it over to John. How are you doing, John? Oh. Hi guys, thank you for making it out. Um, I've been I've been well, and I'm very um, happy to be here. And um, I've been uh, yeah, I've been been married. <laughs> and I've got four children, and uh, just grateful to be working as an actor, I'm doing a couple projects here and there. And yeah, just and I'm happy to be here. Reunited with my reunited, <laughs> reunited with these fine young young actors. We're gonna get through one panel without a song, but it's not gonna be the same. Yeah. Okay, that was awkward. Moving on, moving on. But yeah, um, just uh, tell them about some of the projects, man. Still, Come on, still doing what I love. Uh, I I've always respected acting as a craft. Um, Power Rangers gave me my first break and changed my life. And uh, I came into Mystic Force uh, halfway through these young gentlemen's season, and uh, I've built these friendships and maintained them. For as all the jousting that I do with Ferris, he is definitely he's always been my brother, and um, and that can and Rich. So uh, yeah, I've just been yeah been, been working, and that's what I love doing. So yeah. tell them about the time I invited you to that play in Sydney. What happened? I'm not saying anything about my lawyer. <laughs> Come on, tell him, please. Moving on. Tell him. No, I yeah. want to know. Richard's still here. Yeah, wanna... <laughs> I've been waiting for 15 years to hear about the story. That's, that's what I've been doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me that look. He gives me that look. <laughs> and then it's kind of I'd probably the same stuff that these guys have been doing. Like, um, Rangers was my first break too, and then after that I just did a few more kind of acting jobs here and there, and actually moved to the States for a little bit, which was awesome, um, and worked there a bit, 
and then didn't work there for a longer bit, and then came back to Sydney, and recently I've just been working a little harder on my music stuff, and just taking a little break from acting, so I can just kind of concentrate a little more on the music, but I'll probably get back into the acting shortly, but I don't know how long. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much me. Not too shabby, guys. Now, in a few moments, we're going to take some questions from the audience. So if you have questions, if you wouldn't mind lining up by, and this, uh, wherever Gemma goes, that's where you'll line up. Right that's over perfect. here. That's perfect right there, actually. That's going to be great. But while we're lining up and getting the questions going, um, I will ask you all this. This was uh, the first season of Power Rangers, and really to date, the only season of Power Rangers, to really deal with magic as the theme. It yes. was, it's different, and it's interesting, and... Um, it's, it's got its own lore that, to, to a lot of fans, makes uh, Power Rangers uh, Mystic Force one of the coolest seasons. It really does. And um, had any of you had a, a lot of exposure to the Power Rangers prior to this when you got the role? Had you? I know some of you might not have watched the show or been around a place where they even had the show. Uh, in Australia we had it, but we generally I think only had like the first season, like Mighty Morphin. Well, that's the only one I saw as a kid. And I watched it a little bit as a kid, but then I didn't see much of it again until like the email came through for the audition and I was quite a surprise, like I didn't know that I was still shooting it, so that's cool. And then I did some research and I kind of saw how big the world was and, and it was really exciting. Yeah, we had Power Rangers in New Zealand for like one year and yeah. then it got banned. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was too, it was too violent. Was for was yeah. So you couldn't watch it but you could shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can shoot yeah, it. Typical. It wasn't about to show it to anyone. Yeah, yeah cause a bunch of a bunch of mums got together and, and banned it. <laughs> and rightly so. <laughs> rightly so. Yeah. And Nobody was, should be watching it. Being from New Zealand, wasn't that like I remember that like nineteen ninety five, and when they screened Power Rangers, they was they said they banned Power Rangers because it was too violent, but they kept playing WWF. So it was. <laughs> It didn't make sense, man. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, people are wild driving, breaking necks on um, trampolines and stuff. So it I was looks just like, more realistic on WWE than it well, does. Well, it's just, just two guys instead of a monster. That's when you know these yeah. corporate giants yeah. don't have the interest of the fans. Yeah. So that's why, like, me coming here is me plugging back to the fandom, and I've learned that word yesterday. Um, yeah, just I don't know what the hell my point was, but <laughs> <laughs> back, back, I love it anyway. back then, like, yeah, they they banned. We got it one year. And it was funny because when I travel internationally, I'm still recognized uh, for being a Power Ranger. Once a Ranger, always a Ranger. That's true. Yeah. 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 There is no fan. In Australia. There Sarah, is no in much. Australia. There is no fan of there because they don't watch the show. Yeah, it's not a, they don't have access to the show. They, they shoot. In, they shoot in New Zealand, and the the for us as Kiwis working there in our countries, like there there is that part of your ego where you want your own country to support, yeah, but they don't know like. The, but it was good. It is, it's a double edged sword because it's good because when we go out, no one recognizes, you, and I'm fine with it. But then you travel to to, uh, to America, and then they they approach you on the street, and then I'm just sitting there like, wow, this is it, it just blew my mind. So. Uh, yeah, there's not a real big following there unless you have like Sky, uh, Nickelodeon, and all that yeah, stuff. Hey, well, you know? Yeah, yeah. We can't you, that. And I'm from the hood, so <laughs> yeah. if you can afford it, <laughs> then, then you can see it. Yeah. At the last panel, we did have a fan from Australia, remember? He yeah. had a question. So, so it exists. It's, so, it is there. In Australia, yeah, yeah. In Australia and you're a fan of the Power Rangers, you're committed, though. You've, you've done a lot <laughs> to get the show. You had to go underground and, and sneak the show. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Persecution to watch. You're yeah. really yeah. That's really it. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to answer, but I guess we got a lot of questions over here. So. All right. Let's jump to that. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Mystic Force Ranger, for the first time. I'm Timothy Degas from Miami, Florida. My very important question is how was it working with Peta Rudu, who played O'Donnell, the White Ranger? Oh, yeah. there's the piece. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she was uh, amazing. She was a really um, warm, funny, generous woman. Like she was, yeah, she was a really nice presence to be around. Yeah, yeah she was special. She was. Uh, I mean, it's 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 so long ago, and you're trying to remember what went on. But um, from what I can remember, she was yeah, she was very professional and full of love and encouragement. But um. 
Yeah, it's sad that she's gone. She also did lots of really amazing theatre in, in New Zealand. Yeah. So she did really, um, really like innovative, uh, immersive theatre, which um, you know doesn't get as much recognition as, as uh, like Power Rangers. But yeah, it's real. It's a real tragedy. She was awesome. That's great. Thank you. That's a great question. Thank you. I bet you she's probably with you, looking down my spirit, helping continue her legacy for her. Wow. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Um, I, I saw her a few times and uh, when her condition started to deteriorate. And um, she was, she was uh, uh, she's like our auntie, you know? And she's from that theater cloth. She was an actress. It wasn't by chance that she was there. And uh, her and Graham were, Chris Graham were friends of mine. Um, I, who played Liam Boat? Yeah, um, yeah, man, and uh, just just love it. I met her with my kids, and she was she was awesome. Yeah. Hey guys, you met a lot of me last night, so it's good to see you again. And two weeks, an honor to meet you, sir. Cheers, brother. <laughs> so my question for you all is. Looking back from when you were filming Mystic Force, were there any scenes in particular that you remember thinking, what was I thinking? How did they get me to agree to do this? <laughs> <laughs> there were like, um, there were a lot of scenes where we had to just stare directly into the sun um, for 10 do minutes you remember straight. That? After <laughs> 10, it was a monster. Yeah, was, do you remember that, um, there was that episode where they dug they're like, and then you fall into quicksand. Yeah. And we're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. that and scene. CGI quicksand. That was a great scene. They dug that mess of holes. They literally dug it. Deep in poo. <laughs> it was nuts, eh? And that was funny. Yeah. That was actually. Like, that's when you had a thought, what the hell am I doing in here? Yeah. yeah. That's when we. That was a fun scene. That was one of our first scenes. Was it? Like, it was, was like it? early. Wasn't that early? Early in the season? Like a minor bit. Yeah. That was a good scene. That was so like, because it wasn't that deep, was it? No. But we were trying to like... Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, they, they made it too oh, deep and that was the problem. We were all like drowning actually. And they just rolled the cameras and let us survive. And that's what you see. And we actually did it in one take. Too. We had to. We had to do it in one take because they, they couldn't reshoot that. In fact, the original Vita died that day. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to go back and reshoot all our other stuff before that and then after it. We're really happy with the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> she's still there. <laughs> uh, you didn't know, just I back we had to do some flying at some point. I remember. Uh, what other scenes? Can oh, you remember yeah. some? Uh, we had to like hang around in those. We arms. had some scenes, didn't we? We we had like we 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 went up like we, we traveled time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, oh, I remember. I remember this one song actually. In the, in the script, John Toohey's character, he had to, um, Nick had to kick or punch his character and he had to fall on his ass, right? Yeah. Right? Listen to this. John, John had to, like, he approached the director and he was like, wait, 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 uh, Can you turn your phone off? <laughs> <laughs> and it had to be your phone, didn't it, John? No, no, no. And John goes to the director, he goes, wait, 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 let's, uh, let's, let's, let's peel this back a bit. Um, so what do you mean, like, Nick uh, kicks me and I fall on my ass? No, 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 what, what, what if? <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, yeah, what if he gets hit and he falls to one knee? <laughs> this is what is that? He pulls the director and he goes, no, 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 I'm not falling on my ass. There's no way I'm falling on my ass. He, if, he, if he hits me, maybe he just like takes one knee and then he gets back up real quick. <laughs> this, is, this is John. No, John. I'm like, John, the script says you fall on your ass. Fall on your ass. <laughs> It's like, I'm not falling on my ass. It was an artistic, it was an artistic choice <laughs> And also, no, 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 no. I I'm felt the, the stature of Dagron could, like, listen, I get, I, 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 I don't I, think I, my character will do that. No, 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 no
It's my character. I put but in the life. script. I have in a the script. script. I have in the script. A great white have said to Miss question the Kiss direction. Daggeron and Daggeron falls on his eyes. That's what it said. It's the right here. Up. It's right here and right. right up. There it is. There it is. Little Nick was not dropping there. He's more skilled at that time. I'm not bending the knee. <laughs> I do not fall on my behind. I take it like a soldier and fall to my knee. I know my character better than the writer. And the director. I'm playing them. Yeah, the director's just like, you know, this scrawny little guy. He's like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Sure, sure. <laughs> and then John's like, I own that. <laughs> yeah, man, whatever, yeah. Hell yeah, one minute, yeah, great. Oh my god, shit, just don't hit me. You know, don't uh, eat me, man. And, and you know, we have like we had like six, seven, eight directors come through the series, right? Yeah. So every director comes with their own perception, right? but they're only peeping through the window. They're not in the room. <laughs> I'm in the room! <laughs> And I will not bend the knee. Calm down. Calm down. Relax. They went from zero to one. Hit the one in the middle. <laughs> for me, for Daggeron to fall back onto his butt and on his back would show him to be weak. I am the mentor. I am the general. <laughs> I'm just going to trip your ass over later on. <laughs> Is there another one of these panels? I'm going to strangle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. No. <laughs> Alright, uh, next question, please. Can we take it back? My question's for, for us. In the second episode, yeah. you do like this crazy spin kick off a motorcycle, like 15 feet in the air, and the motorcycle like balls. Like, <coughs> I wish that was me, that was a stunty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a that. Japanese stunty. Or maybe not, but he was on wires, uh, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, how'd you film that? Would you ever try that in real life? Yeah, uh, no. I would not. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> It's about the long. It's about longevity here. Um, yeah, I think it was a stunty on wires. Cool stunt too, by the way. Really cool. Yeah. Answer the question. You have the small devil on the left hand side and the right angel. Yeah, yeah this is a devil. Um, look, it was, I think it was fun the way it was written. Uh, yeah, I mean, she, she was a great character and I think she has a, a great you know, fan base. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed that whole journey, that whole arc. But um, yeah, I mean, it could have been developed. I mean, Dandron could have been developed. I mean, we, we all have our thoughts about the way we could have been portrayed but yeah it was fun it was really the reason why we're here and i think this goes for everybody on, on stage is because it was one of my first jobs as well and we we created a real friendship and everyone got along like we actually did like each other there was a real friendship it never happens it never happens on a set you know there's always it's always fractured there's always people, there's a lot of ego, and this was one of our first, and we, we loved it, and it was like, it was a good job, and it paid well, and it, we, you know, we got to move around, it was shot on location, and the people were great, so you don't know how good it was until you live, you live it, you experience it, and then you have a career, and they go, oh man, we really had a good, and that's why we're here. Thank you, I'm trying to get a double. Yeah, yeah, Austin, fellow Southern Hemisphere, South Africa. 
American, I know rugby rivalry, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I think my question is more for, I guess, uh, Tui, but uh, uh, if, if your characters were to like cross over, like if it was SPD, Mystic Force, or Operation Overdrive, or just a Returns movie, how do you feel that your uh, characters would, uh, uh, would, would go by uh, today, like when, when it was like left off, like, like uh, how, do you think, how do you think they would, uh, how, how do you think it would work when they would relate to either other characters or they would return and... Uh, you, you South African? Yeah. Congratulations on winning the World Cup. <laughs> you're, still, you're still better than us, in my opinion. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> all blacks, all day. But thank you, yeah, congratulations. Uh, that question, uh, having played uh, two mentor roles in two, two series, for me, the, the backbone of the mentor is kind of the same, as you see. It's the wisdom, it's the voice of reason. He is the father figure. He translates what we perceive as a leader, as, as a word of wisdom to these young rangers. Because the journeys of uh, all the rangers, they go through a journey in every series, right? There's self-discovery, there's insecurity, and then there's this coming of age. By the time we get to the last episodes, we, we followed this family and this group of people to the end episode that we just like, we see parts of ourselves played in these characters. In terms of whether Doggy Kruger and Solaris Knight would get along, I think they would. Because they were both uh, humble, wise men with leaderships, without ego. They put themselves, they're the guys that lie on the wire and allow the troops to walk over. You understand? That's a leader role. I'm a father of four, and I'm the oldest brother of nine. Um, I always knew that I had to protect, provide, and do the best job I could in this life that I had. Once a ranger. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, my question is for John Tui. I'm, for Japanese, there was an unused SPD and Mystic Force crossover. If you got the chance to play Donkey Cooper again and go up against Korag, how do you feel that fight would go oh, down? Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, to the, sorry to the younger viewers. Here. <laughs> okay, my question is for all of you. Um, after you all got the part for Mystic Force, did you see any uh, Magi Ranger? And did that, if you did, did it cross over into your characters for Mystic Force? I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was like 2005, so getting your hands on something like the Japanese version would have been quite tricky. You had to bootleg it or... Didn't they show you the VHS? Did they? They sit you in that room and... <laughs> make you watch the VHS? What's the VHS? No, no, man. Did you go in that special room? No. They lock the door and... <laughs> <laughs> the couch. Yeah. <laughs> I said you guys were going to play. What was that? They said you, you guys were all going out for lunch. I just... <laughs> that was the day we all got, you know. That's probably why I... Yeah. That's probably why you carried us a little on the That's not true. He, he had a very good character. No, I feel like we watched a couple of episodes. Like, or bits and pieces, and they showed us the toys. Like, it was a day of, like, induction. Do you remember that? Do you guys, do you remember that? No. Maybe I'm literally imagining this. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. Sorry. I thought we went and watched just a few episodes. And they showed us a book and stuff, and like with pictures and stuff. You feeling alright? <laughs> you talk about it? I, do, I remember Emma Lahana told a story. Do you guys know who Emma Lahana is from Diana? Yeah. She, she told a story. Like that. So I feel like it did happen. I think it did. I can't. Yeah. So who, who told it? The Emma Lahana from Diana Thunder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so it, it's collaborated. I, I believe no, it could good. have happened. There is evidence of it happening. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> My 
What was that, sorry? What? Anime and what video game. Anime and video game. What's up? Anime and video game. Yeah, yeah. Video game. Yeah. Video game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Anime and video game. Anime and video game. Uh, I don't know any anime, but I know a lot of video games. Um, we just start with King's Quest. King's Quest by Sierra. And who played King's Quest? Yeah. Um, Police Quest 2, Space Quest 3, um, Captain Comic, Commander Keen. Um, all those early PC games. Um, Duke Nukem. Oh, okay. All right. um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, who goes onto YouTube and just types in all the old DOS games and watches playthroughs? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys do that? My son does that. Yeah, it's cool, eh? And I just bought an old CRT TV to do it with the other day. So. Yeah. Um, I haven't been following anime, but I, um, I, my children play uh, Fortnite. Yeah. What's that? Like crack. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's what. That's our future generation. Uh, uh, and uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, 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 nah. There is still hope. Uh, <laughs> and they play. Uh, my son plays Red Dead. He plays. Uh, you know, in terms of me, I'm old school, man, so I, I like all the old, like, 90s, um, uh, what is it, uh, arcade games, the Sims. Yeah. but I love uh, Crash Bandicoot, because, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all I got, buddy. Uh, yeah, Tekken? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Tekken. yeah I played Tekken growing up, yeah. 15. Yeah. What's his name again? The guy that looks like Bruce Lee but isn't Bruce Lee? Marshall. Yeah, Marshall. Oh, that was my boy. Yeah. Uh, anime? I don't know Bruce much about anime. No, but Tekken was my game. Uh, I spent most of my uh, teenage years playing Pokemon Red. And I've been watching uh, Avatar recently. The, yeah. uh, that's, that's awesome. Like the storytelling that is incredible. You have to look it up. Yeah. Ableton. Cool. Is anyone into VR gaming? Like, yeah. 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 Like, uh, has, who's played Astro Bot? PlayStation. Uh, yeah. Who's got the Oculus? Yeah. PlayStation VR? Who's, yeah. <laughs> A lot more of you said you played VR games, and then when I asked you to VR, you said you to put your head on the computer. <laughs> anyway, get into it. It's a new way of gaming, alright. Skyrim's great. Skyrim. Job Simulator. Job Simulator is great. How about um, try this and you will die? Or what's that one where you where you gotta? I expect you to die. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. There's one called Affected the Horror Experience, and that will scare you. Oh, that's a good one. Tetris in VR. Yeah. Are you the pieces? Hi, my name is Brian. Uh, I just want to say that I've been watching the show for a very long time. And when I was growing up and like, getting into college, you guys were my like, last full season of Power Rangers that I watched fully through. So from an established standpoint, I loved Mystic Force from like, the bottom of my heart. And, like, oh, you guys made that possible for me. So I just want to... Oh, thank you, man. Thanks, man. Um, no, appreciate the love. My question is um, for each of you: If you could pick another Power Rangers team to be a part of, what would you be on? Oh. I'd say the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd you be? Uh, Red Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I want to be Austin. Awesome. Uh, from Mystic Force, I would, I would probably would just um, be an SPD. I'll be, I'll be in yours as well, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll be an SPD. Yeah, yeah, I'll play doggy yeah. or something. <laughs> 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 and he'll fall on like Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> but they call me Big Dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doggy. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, he could be worried. Big Dog. <laughs> Big Dog is the father of doggy. Yeah. He's a, he's a godfather. He could be the bird guy. He's a godfather of doggy, you feel me? Yeah. And then... Sing your life of peace. Uh, and then... <laughs> John, he would be Commander Bird. Children. <laughs> My children are watching. No, no, no. Rick 3.0. Uh, uh, I, uh... Gee, I don't know. I... What's the ninja one? What's the most recent ninja one? Ninja okay, oh, I met some of those guys and they were cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe I could be in there. Where are we again? That's <laughs> <laughs> not where they fight. Who am I? I want to be the one with What's my name? Oh, is this a trip? Is this Can a dream? Can I take a mushroom? <laughs> What the hell, man? This fabric is awesome. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's, uh, you guys, you guys all knew that Nick was the Ooh. the Sentinel Knight, right? And now, yeah. 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 so so Nick has technically been in two as well. So wow. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do did you do monster voices or something? Yeah, I've done a bunch of monsters. Which ones? Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, because you just go and do them, and they take like 20 minutes to do. So, so, so well, they take you 20. They'll take a normal person probably 20 hours. But <laughs> Nikki's a very talented voice actor. I've like, got like really three voices, and they're great. They're great. <laughs> no, do just on the please. Do it. I, I actually can't remember what the voices of the monsters were, but they were just they were just like. Do Sentinel Knight. Oh, Sentinel Knight was like. Uh, Sentinel Knight. Hey, listen! <laughs> I'm a sentinel knight! I'm the big man and I transform into a sword. And that's all I remember. <laughs> what I do. <laughs> we, when we had to do um, voiceovers, which there was a lot of obviously because we had helmets on, um, I always used to lose my voice really easily doing it. I just didn't know how to use my voice and yell without it disappearing that next day. But and I kept asking Nick, like, how do you do it? He's like, you just do it. And you never had a problem with it, eh? Hey? Like, I enjoyed it, yeah. 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 But it was, it was really tough, like, because you just go and you go and stand in this booth and yell for about <laughs> as long as your voice can take it, which is like 40 minutes, and you have to take a break. Literally. You're standing there being like, yeah! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 Well, man, should have done that. <laughs> it's, it's, that was tough. Yeah, you can make it do that, right? That was pro bono, right? You're like, pull a hammy. Pull a hammy. Kevin, what do you got for our friends here? Uh, I have to know, uh, when you were filming uh, the show, uh, what was your favorite activity doing Austin? Good question. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> that's, good. that's a good question. That's a good question. There are kids. There are, there are kids. kids. <laughs> we, uh, what do we do? I know what I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what you did and who you did. <laughs> uh, You're disgusting. <laughs> That's just a disgusting response. You used to, used to play guitar quite quite a bit. I did. You strumming away on the old. I did. I played and tried to record music and stuff. That's the first time I I bought a laptop and got Garage Band and um, one of the sound guys lent me a microphone and made a. Uh, you know how like when you're singing to a mic, how you need to put something there to stop the, the pop filter? Close he, Yeah. Um, he made one for me out of a stocking and a wire. <laughs> it wasn't his stocking. And, uh, and, and a coat hanger. And, and I used, and I still got it. I still got it in my studio today. And, um, and I also got given a 12 string guitar, um, which I still use to this day as well. So I just tried to record music and stuff. And that's kind of where it started for me. But you know, like the, the shooting of Power Rangers was so intense. Uh, it's like six months, and you get uh, being packed up at five, and you get home at like seven. So you're pretty much just you go out, you work, you come home, and you just collapse on the floor and lie there until the next morning. So really that much free time. And you're on every day because like it was yeah. generally always, always all of us yeah. together. 
it was kind of like on a on a normal show. You I don't know all well, shows I've worked on. I work like maybe two days a week. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? If you're like a, if you're not the lead, but in this like we had to be there every day, like shooting pretty much everything. Like Nick, probably, you, Ferris shot probably more than us, but like, but, gen but generally we were even we were on set even when you were, yeah. So it was probably the most grueling shooting schedule I've ever had. In my 15 years of work. Um It's like what these young gentlemen said. Like when you're when you're shooting a series, you commit completely to it. So the time that you have off, like some of us would, uh, it was you like we would shoot. We'll, we wouldn't shoot Friday or Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Sunday. Sunday. So we had the. It was literally Thursday night was our really relaxing time. So some people would have wine. Uh, for me, it'll just be with my with my family, man, because they were the reason why I would work so hard and not complain. But um, when you're committed to a series and it's, it's going, you're part of this movement. Everybody's thrown into this crucible, and there's a lot of compromise. Like I said, like what Ferris said before, we all had a good camaraderie. And I've worked on uh, projects where there's a diva, or the camaraderie's not there, or people aren't even personal with each other, you know? They come on set, they piss off, uh, they leave, they, they, don't do, they don't communicate with the other actors. And I've worked with some big personalities who don't even, uh, they're not there to do offline. So, each and every actor here empties the tank, they empty the cup, they go on to set, we give our best performance and then we try to detox after that because we know we've got to wake up at 5 o'clock and then run the routine again. And it's so hard to be in the moment because you're so exhausted. Because to, to be at attention all the time, it's like uh, when I was talking to uh, Glenn yesterday, like we all mastered how to take a nap on these like little uh, fold away mm. cap chairs, remember? Yeah, yeah, with, our, yeah. with our hoodies on and my technique was as, as soon as I got off set or I did a line, come back and I know I wasn't going to be on for another uh, three hours and you didn't have your camper van there. I just mastered the... the that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my trailer. All right, guys. I'll see you later. That was there. It was so tiring, and especially watching the young fellas work. Like I fed off their energy. Especially Ferris. Ferris is a energizer bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good to have the personalities. It's funny because when you look at the casting of the Red Ranger and Blue Rangers, there's a certain trait that follows through the seasons, right? And they go through a certain journey. So as soon as I met him, his energy for me was just, he was definitely born to be Red Ranger. He was born to be Blue Ranger. He was born to be Red Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got, mixed, kind of I, I, I got it mixed up with that. Sorry, Chris. Chris, Chris <laughs> no, 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 it's good. Sorry, bro. The table's green. Sorry. This is orange. Yes, I mean. uh, no, well, yes. sir, you're doing well. You're doing well. When I, when I met Rich, I said, oh, damn, I'm working with two Aussies. Like, really? Like, where's the Canadians and the Americans in there? But these two oh, here, as soon as, they, that. as soon as they stepped on set, <laughs> and, they, and they, he kept his accent. And I was thinking, like, was he Canadian putting on an Aussie accent? Ah, oh, that's what I was thinking. I was. And I was just a man of many faces. I was an Australian playing a Canadian, playing an American, playing I, a And I loved, it that you, I loved it that you kept your accent. Guys, we've it just shows the diversity. I don't want to interrupt you, John. We've only got about 10 minutes left. I want you guys to know we'll try to get through the line yeah. there. So it's all in touch. Right? I want to answer. You need to teach her up. Playful banter, you know? You just do it. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. So my question is for all of you. Uh, what was your reaction when you first saw the Jinji suit? <laughs> oh, the cat! What the hell is that? <laughs> and what is it doing on this set? <laughs> that was literally his reaction. Yeah. And, then I, and then I took him on the and I said, that's Jinji. That's Jinji the magical cat. <laughs> and what? Did I pronounce it wrong? I was uh, relieved. Because I finally, finally met that popping head that came out of my lamp every now and then. <laughs> and, and, and the world of puppetry, you know, it's... You've got to act to something and then to, to see these puppets come to life was awesome. I, I was happy to see them. Was that Santa Claus that just walked by? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that mushroom trip is still kicking off! <laughs> Santa Claus! Hey, 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 hey
sees you when you're sleeping. <laughs> That's You see you when I'm sleeping? How'd you, how'd you sneak into my room, you weed <laughs> Very good. 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 It was a, it was a, a four-year-old uh, Japanese man called Hiro inside that suit, oh. suffering immensely every day. Because <laughs> it was so hot in that studio. Yeah, we shot during summer. It was, it, we shot a show in summer in New Zealand and this, this, this studio is boiling. So when you watch it, just know there's a man in there. Yeah. is for John. This is probably the only non-Power Ranger question. How intense was it working on the set of Hobbs and Shaw? Uh, it wasn't intense. If anything, um, when I booked the role and I flew over there, I was just excited to, to meet this this man called Dwayne Johnson. And, um, yeah. and I don't know... Yeah. And uh, as a Polynesian, I was super proud. Super proud. Um, and they were every, you know, him and Roman Reigns were everything that I expected them to be. You know, it's funny when we meet actors out there and we're like, what do they look like? Are they for real? They're big, you know. Yeah, the man's a specimen, you know. Um, and if you watch some of the trailers, I'm talking about myself, but that's me going, you know. I, I go, <laughs> I go, uh, Dwayne is a gentleman, he's a superstar, but there's only one John Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, love yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. My name is Wolf on the Ring, aka Corey Goldzer. Nice to meet you guys again. Nice to meet you too, man. Of course. Uh, just a quick question for the whole cast. I mean, you, you just seen that Corey was labeled the whole time. Was that just a big shock to y'all? Like, you didn't want to find out sooner why he wasn't killing you guys? Like, you seemed like a very abusive that. father. He just, <laughs> just didn't kill you. It's so, like, no, you gotta get stronger. I can't do it. So, what are your thoughts on that? Like, him not just destroying what he could? Yeah, it's like he gave it up and he took it and he gave it and he took it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very plot. traumatic. Yeah. Uh, I'm still getting over it. He wasn't like that. <laughs> Darth Vader, man. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. Darth Vader. But it brought tears to my eyes when you guys actually, um, that last episode when you guys made up. No, you. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was your dad, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, that was an emotional episode. It was. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It was. It really was. It's, uh, you guys, that's where the storyline separates itself from Mystic Force, was the surprises, the unpredictability, and then to find out that he was Limbo, you know, and my connection to his character, and then knowing that, you know, that was, uh, he was the son, it was just, it, it, for me, it rounded the story off different from the other seasons, you know? That's why it's the best power I Yeah! Yeah! Drop the three hundred dollar There My son, you made it. Good to see you, Dad. Have you been? Yeah, really well. So much. You found me again. I did. Keep on going, Madeleine. Leave me alone. Have you been? I don't care. Be nice. <laughs> That's hello, everyone. I'm oh, Dan. I'm from Adelaide. Woo. Yeah. So, uh, Anyways, uh, if you had Genji, because Genji could only grant you guys one wish, yep. what would you each wish for? In the Power Rangers universe or in real life? <laughs> well, you can answer for both games. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm just going to shot myself in the foot. It's Ali, it's busy, Ali, Obama. As a Power Ranger, I would, I would wish that we got a percentage like points in the show, <laughs> and it buys out in the contract, and every toy they sold, and every rerun of the show on Netflix, yeah. and who's on there, and who's there, part of it. As, as you should in SAG, proper SAG contracts, that would be nice. Actually, that's for both the actor and the... Yeah, it's good on that. A bit of better contract. Yeah. Uh, will Peace. Oh, oh, you can't oh, say that oh, out of mine. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll put some thought into it. My wish would be that everybody lead with love. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I would. Uh, I would wish that 
he would fall on his ass. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I would, um, I would wish that I would, I would wish to alleviate the world's anxieties. Okay. <laughs> and that's CBD oil. And I'm investing into a company. Actually, I've got it right here. Don't come on your side. <laughs> uh, I would wish that uh, uh, there were dinosaurs as well and just randomly walking around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Finally, a real answer. A real answer. That's what I'm saying, finally a real answer. <laughs> That's a wish right here. Yeah, come home some time. Oh my gosh. We've only got about three minutes, guys, so let's make these uh, uh, questions. Let me Let me Go for it. Yeah. Fast as that. Yes or no questions? Hello, hello. Um, my name is Nathan, and I was wondering which episode was your favorite one while filming? Dark Wish. Yeah. Oh, that was oh, yeah. Dark oh, Wish. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That was buzzy. That was a good one. Yeah, you had that. But that's not a correct answer because it's more than one episode. Well, it's a trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, really good episode. Yeah. No, that was the vampire one. That was cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was sick. Stranger Within. Stranger Within. We've all got a Stranger Within. That's Santa Claus. Mm. It's our show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it for everybody? Who here wants to have a cake right now? Magic cake. Yeah. What, what was that? A magic cake. Who wants to have a magic cake? Who wants it? Yes. I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can pass them out. I think we can pass them out. I want a cake. Yeah, I think we all get cakes. Let's all get cakes. You 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 get You get cakes. 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 You He's only going to go to my knees. Oh, 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 I love your badge. Yeah. Hey, John, over here, man. Hold up, up. Uh, yeah, I see you, man. I yeah. see you. Um, my question is for you. How do you uh, feel good about um, playing not only Doggy Kruger and SPD, and also playing Liam Bo in uh, Mystic Force? Get him, 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 it happens to the best of us, I'm honored, honored to play both characters, honored, and people are always, uh, when I'm at the table, they come up and they say, uh, which out of the two is your favorite, I've got twin boys, it's like asking me, which son do I favor the most? I, I committed. Which one is it? I, I committed completely. <laughs> I, com I committed completely to both roles, and the, like I said, that mentor. I think I've got that uh, in spades because of my upbringing. But uh, like I said, once a ranger. Oh, oh, a ranger. oh man! I knew you should have known that. Oh,